Today we're going to have a look at making a pallet wood planter box. Now, taking pallets apart is pretty intense work. The best tools for the job are a crowbar and some honest hard work. You'll end up with a lot of nails sticking out everywhere, so make sure you take them out and keep an eye on where you chuck them. The design I came up with for my planter is approximately 900mm square and 400mm deep. After looking at all of my salvageable pallet wood, the shortest useful length was just over 940mm. Measure up and cut the boards for the sides and the bottom. You can see a list on the side of what I ended up using. You'll end up with a real mix of sizes depending on the pallets you can get a hold of. Don't be too rigid in your design. Measure up the frame that your boards will attach to. I left about 100mm extra at the bottom to act as feet in each of the four corners. This is also the height of these bits of pallet wood when on their sides. You'll see why that's important soon. Assemble the front and back faces of the planter. Fill in the remaining signs as per the pattern used for the front and the back. Next, you're going to need to enclose the bottom with some slats. Use the same sizes as for the sides. Nail them at an even spacing. Now I'm using that bit of wood I spoke about earlier to give those slats some extra support when it has all that soil weighing down on it. Finally, line the inside of the planter with some plastic sheeting and cut some slits into the bottom for drainage. Lining the planter will help the untreated wood last a little bit longer. And here's the finished product. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, why not subscribe? I'll see you later.